Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel Immortal News. Today we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes in our today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin, thank you. Number 8. Ivan Bart, visionary leader and advocate for inclusion in modeling. Ivan Bart, former president of IMG Models and a vanguard in the world of modeling, passed away at the age of 60 following a short illness. Widely recognized for revolutionizing the industry, Bart's legacy is intertwined with the careers of iconic models such as Lauren Hutton, Carolyn Murphy, Gigi and Bella Hadid, Stephanie Seymour, and many more. Taking the helm at IMG Models in 2014 after its merger with WME, Bart's impact was felt not only in the careers he nurtured but also in the way he reshaped the very perception of beauty in the fashion world. With an unyielding commitment to diversity and inclusion, he shattered conventions by championing models like Alec Weck, Hari Neff, Precious Lee, and others, paving the way for more representation across age, size, race, and background. Particularly noteworthy was Bart's unwavering support for plus-size models. After Ford Models shuttered its plus-size division in 2014, Bart welcomed Ashley Graham and other distinguished plus-size models into the IMG fold. This commitment to diversity was evident when three of the agency's plus-size models graced the 2023 cover of British Vogue. The fashion world mourns the loss of a true visionary. From designers and models to stylists and makeup artists, the industry is united in grief and respect for Bart. As Endeavor President and COO Mark Shapiro aptly expressed, Bart was the voice before there was a voice, steadfastly advocating for an inclusive definition of beauty. Ivan Bart's indelible mark on the fashion world is a testament to his passion, conviction, and courage. His belief that beauty is diverse and multifaceted will remain an enduring legacy. Tribute to Ivan Bart. Number 7. Aaron Spears, the rhythmic heartbeat behind music's biggest names. Aaron Spears, the renowned drummer whose beats energized the music of icons like Ariana Grande, Usher and more, tragically passed away at the age of 47. His wife, Jessica, mournfully announced his untimely departure, celebrating him not just as a gifted musician, but a devoted father to their son, August. His love, guidance, and warmth were the pillars of our family, she said, underscoring the depth of their loss. Spears' contribution to the music industry is unparalleled. In 2004, he was Grammy-nominated for his exceptional work on Usher's acclaimed album, Confessions. Throughout his career, Spears worked alongside a plethora of stars, including Lil Wayne, Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears, and Lady Gaga, to name just a few. Ariana Grande, expressing her grief, remembered him as the absolute brightest light of a human being. Tributes poured in from fellow musicians and friends. Questlove and Travis Barker expressed their shock and sorrow, with Barker poignantly noting, this doesn't seem real. Beyond his studio and touring accomplishments, Spears showcased his drumming talents on Late Night with Seth Meyers. A man of profound gratitude, Spears, just days before his death, celebrated a birthday, marking it with heartfelt thanks, saying, with every trip around the sun that God blesses me with, my heart is filled with more gratitude. Tribute to Aaron Spears. Number 6. Frank Howard, the capital punisher of baseball's golden era. Frank Howard, the iconic baseball slugger whose towering home runs earned him the moniker Capital Punisher, passed away at the age of 87. The Washington Nationals confirmed his death, though the cause remains unspecified. 
From his debut as the NL Rookie of the Year in 1960, with the Los Angeles Dodgers, to his home run title in 1963's World Series victory, Howard's legacy in the major leagues is etched in gold. His monumental contributions didn't stop there. Having played a pivotal seven seasons with the Washington Senators and subsequent years with the Rangers and the Detroit Tigers, Howard's impact in the field was unparalleled. Dick Bosman, a close friend and former teammate, remembers him fondly. Next to my dad, he's the greatest guy I know. Similarly, Nationals owner Mark Lerner reminisced about Howard's towering presence, both in stature and in the game, stating, Frank Howard was my hero. With accolades that include leading the American League in home runs in 1968 and 1970, and a 48 homer season that remains unmatched in Washington baseball history, Howard's brilliance was undeniable. His managerial stints with the San Diego Padres and the New York Mets further demonstrated his deep connection and commitment to the sport. Nicknamed Hondo, Howard's profound impact on baseball was recognized in 2016 when he was inducted into the Nationals' Ring of Honor. As Nationals general manager Mike Rizzo put it, Frank was a legendary figure. I had the utmost respect for him both as a ball player and as a human being. Tribute to Frank Howard. Number 5. Cezary Olszewski, Poland's dancing prodigy and television star. Cezary Olszewski, celebrated ballroom dancer and champion of the renowned TV show Dancing with the Stars, tragically passed away at the age of 42. The news has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, with the exact cause of his untimely demise yet to be determined. He was found in a hotel in his hometown of Australaka, with local authorities confirming that investigations are in progress. From an early age, Cesare showcased a remarkable talent for ballroom dancing. His commitment to the art led him to clinch numerous tournaments, eventually becoming a finalist in the Polish championships. His time on Dancing with the Stars between 2008 and 2010 was a testament to his prowess, capturing the Crystal Globe in his debut year and subsequently winning the seventh series alongside partner Magdalena Wallach. Over the course of the show, he graced the dance floor with various partners, including Anna Popek, Anna Nowak Ibish, Grazina Wolskczak, and Dorota Zawatska. Beyond the dance realm, Cesare's versatility was evident in his appearances on other TV series such as Face to Face, Pitbull, and Mjak Milosk. His departure leaves a void in the world of dance and television, but his legacy remains. Cesare Olszewski will forever be remembered as a beacon of talent, passion, and dedication in the Polish entertainment industry. Tribute to Cesare Olszewski. Number 4. Wanda Poltowska, A Resilient Life of Faith and Advocacy Wanda Poltowska, a symbol of resilience, faith, and purpose, passed away in Krakow on the 25th of October, just before her 102nd birthday. Born on the 2nd of November 1921 in Lublin, Poland, her early life was marked by the harrowing experiences of World War II. Arrested for aiding the Polish resistance, she endured the horrors of Ravensbrück concentration camp for four years, where she was subjected to medical experiments. Her haunting memoir, And I'm Afraid of My Dreams, stands as a testament to her spirit and a grim documentation of the camp's conditions. Fulfilling a promise to herself during her incarceration, she became a doctor after the war, earning her doctorate in psychiatry in 1964 from the Jagiellonian University. Passionate about understanding and helping survivors, she notably researched the Auschwitz children and played a pivotal role in establishing the Institute of Family Theology in Krakow. Her unwavering Roman Catholic faith led her to a profound friendship with Pope John Paul II, spanning decades. Her correspondence with him, published in 2009, highlighted their deep spiritual bond. 
A fervent pro-life advocate, Poltowska notably penned the Declaration of Faith of Catholic Physicians and Medicine Students, which sparked significant debate on the intersection of faith and medicine. Tribute to Wanda Poltowska Number 3. Charlie Aitken, the cornerstone of Aston Villa's rich history. Charlie Aitken, an emblematic figure of Aston Villa Football Club, has passed away at the age of 81. A legend in every sense of the word, Aitken holds the record for the highest number of appearances for Villa, stepping onto the field 660 times, a staggering 657 of those as a starting player. A staunch left back, Aitken's tenure with Villa spanned from 1959 to 1976, after which he took his talents overseas, playing a year with the New York Cosmos. Throughout his career at Villa, Aitken showcased his resilience and adaptability, competing in the top three divisions of English football. He celebrated significant triumphs, including securing the third division and lifting the League Cup. Beyond his club commitments, Aitken's prowess earned him caps with the Scotland Under-21, further emphasizing his talent. In addition to his substantial contributions on the field, Aitken's legacy is immortalized in the club's records. His 660 games remain an unchallenged peak, standing tall over the likes of club greats Billy Walker and Gordon Cowens. Aston Villa and the larger football community mourn the loss of a true stalwart of the sport. Charlie Aitken's legacy is etched in the annals of football history and his impact will be remembered and celebrated for generations to come. Tribute to Charlie Aitken. Number 2. Dean Weiss, a storied legacy in women's basketball. Dean Weiss, the iconic coach of the Wayland Baptist University Flying Queens, left a memorable mark in the world of women's basketball. He passed away on October 28th at the venerable age of 88. As a testament to his influence and prowess on the court, a public memorial service is set to be held on Sunday at the Godley Middle School in Godley, Texas. This service will be presided over by the retired Wayland Director of Alumni Relations, Danny Andrews. Coach Weiss's record speaks for itself, an astonishing 1,207 wins to just 197 losses. His achievements were recognized far and wide, leading to his induction into multiple halls of fame, including the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, Texas High School Basketball Coaches Hall of Fame, Texas Association of Basketball Coaches Hall of Fame, and Panhandle Sports Hall of Fame. Beyond his record, Coach Weiss inspired countless players and coaches alike with his dedication, strategic insights, and leadership both on and off the court. His family will also hold a private service to remember and celebrate his remarkable life. Tribute to Dean Weiss. Breaking news, News 1. In a touching revelation, Happy Days icon, Henry Winkler uncovers the hidden trials of his life in an exclusive excerpt from his forthcoming memoir, Being Henry the Fonz and Beyond. Winkler, despite embodying the epitome of cool as the Fonz, unveils a secret battle with dyslexia, a struggle that haunted him for years, casting shadows on his glittering fame. Born to German Jewish parents, Winkler's journey from a challenging upbringing to the heights of Hollywood has been anything but ordinary. I spent most of my adult life being frightened, on the outside looking like I had it together and mostly being anxious, Winkler shares, giving a glimpse into his internal tumult. The revelation came to light when his stepson Jed was diagnosed with dyslexia, turning on a light of realization and understanding for Winkler. This discovery echoed through his family, linking the dots of struggle that had marked their academic lives. This memoir is not just a chronicle of Winkler's Hollywood journey, but also an intimate exploration of overcoming personal hurdles, turning vulnerabilities into strengths, 
and rewriting a story marked by silent battles. It stands as a testament to Winkler's resilience and his inspiring journey beyond the shadow. News 2. In a heart-wrenching update, the mother of Shani Luke, the Israeli-German woman previously reported missing after a brutal attack at a music festival in Israel, has tragically confirmed her daughter's death. The devastating news was shared following a sorrowful journey of hope and uncertainty. The Luke family was thrown into a terrifying limbo when a barbaric act of violence interrupted what was supposed to be a joyous occasion near Kibbutz Reim, leaving over 260 lives cruelly cut short. Shani's disappearance fostered hopes of her possible survival, but a harrowing video circulated on social media complicated the ordeal. While the authenticity and timing of the video were unclear, it created a storm of speculation and distress. With profound sadness, the family revealed that definitive DNA evidence had brought a grim closure to their search. Authorities continue to work tirelessly amidst the catastrophic aftermath, dealing with significant challenges in identifying the victims due to the condition of the remains. News 3. In an emotional revelation that has shaken the sports and entertainment community, tennis legend Pete Sampras, 52, has opened up about the grave health challenge faced by his wife, renowned actress Bridget Wilson of The Wedding Planner fame. Sampras, traditionally known for his reticence, shared a heartfelt statement on Platform X, detailing the trying times the family has undergone since Wilson's diagnosis of ovarian cancer last December. Despite enduring a major surgery and intensive chemotherapy, Wilson, displaying unwavering strength, continues her therapeutic treatments. The 14-time Grand Slam winner with raw honesty shed light on the emotional toll it took on their family, especially their sons, Christian, 20, and Ryan, 18. Their collective resilience has been a beacon of hope during these tumultuous times. Stressing the importance of collective strength and support, Sampras called upon the public to extend their thoughts and prayers for Wilson's recovery journey. The tennis world rallied around the Sampras family, with fellow professionals sending in their well wishes. Pete and Bridget, who tied the knot in 2000 after meeting the previous year, have always remained an iconic duo in the spheres of sports and entertainment, proving once again that unity is strength. News 4. In an environment where the buzz of social media constantly reverberates, John Legend makes a deliberate move to distance himself from the virtual cacophony. At 44, the iconic singer candidly disclosed his strategy for maintaining mental equilibrium, a conscientious reduction in social media interaction. Legend expressed his sentiments to Yahoo Life, focusing on the imperative necessity of this digital detox, emphasizing the toxicity emanating from platforms like Twitter, now referred to as X. He narrates his journey from being extensively online to adopting a more restrained approach. Legend admitted the overwhelming influx of unrestrained discourse started taking a toll on his mental tranquility. Lauded for his serene demeanor, Legend refers to himself as pretty unflappable. His innate resilience, coupled with experiential wisdom, contributes to his composed disposition. He reveals that his latest musical tour, An Evening with John Legend, serves as a therapeutic conduit for expressing vulnerability and fostering mental wellness. In a world often muddled with digital disruptions, Legend's stance becomes a resonant voice advocating for mental health mindfulness in the realms of social media engagement. Number one, Mike Lashuk, pioneering figure and pillar of Calgary. Dinos football. Mike Lashuk, the esteemed former head coach of the Calgary Dinos, passed away at the age of 84. Born in Edmonton, Lashuk's leadership spanned significant periods from 1969 to 1976, and then from 1978 to 1982, during which he recorded a commendable regular season record of 57. 49. Lashuk's legacy is deeply interwoven with the success and prestige of the Dinos football program. He was instrumental in leading the team to its first Veneer Cup appearance in 1975. Notably, the Dinos' triumphant 1983 team, which clinched their first of five Veneer Cups, was significantly influenced by Lashuk's vision and strategy. Mike Lashuk not only charted a path for the Dinos' unrivaled success in football, but he also remained a staunch supporter and contributor long after his coaching tenure, reflected Ben Matchett, Dino's director of athletics. Lashuk's contributions extended beyond coaching. 
The football community fondly remembers his stint as a radio analyst for the Dinos in the mid-2000s. A testament to his keen eye for talent, Lashuk's recruitment efforts brought in stellar players like Greg Vavra, Blake Nill, and Wayne Harris. Both Nill and Harris later took the reins as head coaches of the Dinos, perpetuating Lashuk's enduring legacy. Before his coaching career, Lashuk showcased his athletic prowess on the field, playing for the Edmonton football team from 1957 to 1963. In his debut season, he was rightly honored as the CFL's most outstanding rookie. Tribute to Mike Lashuk.